is it only me that just can't get to sleep recently? Like, the past, like, four days, I just can't get to sleep till, like, 2, 3 in the morning. Anyway, welcome to a What's In My Camera Bag 2021. Now, I'll be going through this little bag here. This is my camera bag. And I'll be addressing what I use most commonly and just what I have in there, which I think I might need. And then also some things that actually aren't in the camera bag at all, but I think are kind of important. I don't know, really. I'm just basically showing you my camera gear. So jumping into the main compartment of my bag, what I have in there is I always have two cameras with me. So I have my Sony, which I'm shooting on now, which I'll show you in a bit. I might have to switch to my phone camera to show you the camera. Yeah, I might have to switch to my phone to show you this camera. Uh, but the other camera that I have in my bag is my old one. It's the Nikon D3100. It has a Tamron 70 to 300 lens. If all them words are going over your head, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good camera. It's one of the first ones that I've shot on. Uh, it's the first camera that I've actually owned myself, although there are cameras up there if you can see, but none of them work. Like, there's like this tiny ass HP one that you, your granddad would probably take on holiday with him. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But this camera is actually very, very good, very versatile while I had it. Um, and I honestly recommend it if you are starting out of photography and you want to buy something relatively cheap, because this was very, very cheap. It is a DSLR though, compared to the Sony that I'm shooting on now, which is mirrorless. But again, all personal preference if you prefer mirrorless or DSLRs. I also have another lens for the Nikon. It's just the kit lens that comes with it, which is 18 to 55 mil. So very, very small lens. However, with this lens, I have over here, let me go get them, some polarizers here. It's like a pack of six, I believe. Uh, yeah, so it ranges all the way from like properly pitch black polarizers to mainly clear ones. There's also some half ones in there. Don't know if you can see, hold on, I'll hold it a bit closer to the lens. Yeah, like that. So they work really well with the kit lens. Obviously they don't fit on the 70 to 300 one because it is a rather, rather wide lens compared to this bit here, as you can probably see the size difference. But they come in handy whenever you're shooting, you want like the lighting to look a lot different. Say if you shoot in something that has mirrors or windows, really, really good to use a polarizer for that. Moving on then in my bag, I just have the little bit here that comes with the Sony. Uh, it's for the body and lens, obviously when you take it apart. However, I've now managed to find a space in my bag where I can just leave the camera like fully set up. Because before I used to have to take it out and then put the lens on. And it was just very, very time consuming. So it was quite annoying actually to do that every time. Moving on to the top part of my bag, I have a flash in the top compartment. It does fit both of my cameras luckily, considering it just slides straight onto the top. It is a, I have the box here, it's a newer Speedlight NW561. Very, very good. I actually really enjoy using it. It's quite just simple to use, you just slide on. You can change all the settings in it as well, which is really, really good. Um, but I got that in a bundle with the FC16, which are triggers, wherever they are, they're here. So you get it with that a receiver and a trigger, so obviously you can just stand far away from your camera and press the button and it takes it for you. I do suggest actually buying these, they're very, very useful, especially for the flash as well, because the flash comes with, if I can find it, a little plate like this here, so you can set it up in a corner somewhere in your frame, use the trigger to flash it instead of, or like you can connect it with the camera as well. So when you press the camera trigger, it flashes from the side, obviously to get a bit more light from the sides. Um, but yeah, the triggers are very, very good. I actually do really recommend them. If you are getting into photography, if you're doing things for like college, just if you don't really want to press a trigger, if you want to go sit down somewhere and then still take a picture, it's a very, very good purchase. I'm now going to sip my coffee because I have been speaking for a long time. Other things I suggest that you have in your camera bag if you buy them as well, because most times out of town you'll have to buy them, because I know that this camera here and the Nikon, wherever it went, Nikon down here, didn't come with its own batteries, so I had to buy these offline. I think they're like £25 with the little charger bit here, like the little portable charger. Um, so it's actually a very good purchase, so now I have three batteries for this camera. Speaking of, the battery's gonna die soon. 
Um, and I'm pretty sure I haven't, ah, pretty sure I haven't charged these. Um, so that's that's a fault on my end, isn't it? However, I do have another battery for this Nikon as well. Although I don't use it too much, I think it's good just to have batteries just in case I do end up using it. Um, and moving on, it's time to show you the Sony. So this is the Sony A7 Mark II. Um, I brought this couple months ago, maybe like four. I'm not too sure, but yeah, this is what it looks like here. If I give you a quick little, quick little turnaround of it, it's not that big. It's very, very compact. Um, and this is the back of it here. Yeah, like I said, very, very good camera. It's very versatile. So you, I use it for photography and making videos as well. That's what I just filmed on. Um, if you wanted to spend more money, you can buy like the A7R or the A7S, which are designed like specifically for photography or video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to switch back to this camera now. So that's pretty much all that I have in my bag. I can't actually think of anything else apart from like little bits and pieces that aren't important at all. Um, apart from that, obviously, memory cards, very important to keep with you. If you have spares, it's also great to take out. Um, and one more thing to add about the Sony is that it's got a 28 to 70 kit lens on it. It's wide angle, so that's where you can see a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, I found that it's quite versatile for what I take pictures of right now. Uh, I'll upgrade in the future, obviously. Well, hopefully. But that's about it, so yeah, that's all I carry with me. The things like the triggers and the polarizers I don't actually have with me all the time. It just depends on the day, depends on what I'm shooting. That's about it, that's all I can really think about. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I'll see you next time.